Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Wednesday, September the 19th, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 119, verse 73 to 96, and Job chapter 42, verse 1 to 17. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. It was your hands that made me and shaped me. Help me to learn your commands. Alleluia. Psalm 119. It was your hands that made me and shaped me. Help me to learn your commands. Your faithful will see me and rejoice for I trust in your word. My God, I know that your decrees are right, that you afflicted me justly. Let your love be ready to console me by your promise to your servant. Let your love come and I shall live, for your law is my delight. Shame the proud who harm me with lies while I ponder your precepts. Let your faithful turn to me, those who know your will, let my heart be blameless in your statutes, lest I be ashamed. I yearn for your saving help. I hope in your word. My eyes yearn to see your promise. When will you console me? Though parched and exhausted with waiting, I remember your statutes. How long must your servants suffer? When will you judge my foes? For me the proud have dug pitfalls against your law. Your commands are all true. Then help me when lies oppress me. They almost made amend of me on earth, but I kept your precepts. Because of your love, give me life, and I will do your will. Your word, O God most high, forever stands firm in the heavens. Your truth lasts from age to age, like the earth you created. By your decree it endures to this day, for all things serve you. Had your law not been my delight, I would have died in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for with them you give me life. Save me, for I am yours, since I seek your precepts. And though the wicked lie in wait to destroy me, yet I ponder your will. I have seen that all perfection has an end, but your command is boundless. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. It was your hands that made me and shaped me. Help me to learn your commands. Alleluia. The lesson is from the book of Job, chapter 42, beginning at verse 1. And then Job answered Yahweh, I know that you can do all things, and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Who is this that hides counsel without knowledge? Therefore I have uttered what I did not understand, things too wonderful for me, which I did not know. Hear, and I will speak. I will question you, and you declare to me. I had heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eyes see you. Therefore I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. And after Yahweh had spoken these words to Job, Yahweh said to Eliphaz the Temanite, My wrath is kindled against you and against your two friends, for you have not spoken of me what is right, as my servant Job has. Now therefore take seven bulls and seven rams, and go to my servant Job, and offer up for yourselves a burnt offering. And my servant Job shall pray for you, for I will accept his prayer not to deal with you according to your folly. For you have not spoken of me what is right, as my servant Job has done. And so Eliphaz the Temanite, and Bildad, and Zophar, went and did what Yahweh had told them, and Yahweh accepted Job's prayer. And Yahweh restored the fortunes of Job when he had prayed for his friends, 
and Yahweh gave Job twice as much as he had before. Then there came to him all his brothers and sisters, and all who had known him before, and they ate bread with him in his house. They showed him sympathy and comforted him for all the evil that Yahweh had brought upon him. And each of them gave him a piece of money and a gold ring. And Yahweh blessed the latter days of Job more than his beginning. And he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, a thousand yoke of oxen, and a thousand donkeys. And he also had seven sons and three daughters. And he named the first Jimena, and the second Kezai, and the third Karen. In all the land there were no women so beautiful as Job's daughters. And their father gave them an inheritance along with their brothers. And after this, Job lived 140 years and saw his children and his children's children, four generations. And Job died old and full of days. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, that there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in the church, and peace in the whole world, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. That we may be bound together by the Holy Spirit in the communion of Francis and Claire and all your saints, entrusting one another and all of our lives to Christ, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh, look with pity, O oh, heavenly God, upon the people in this land who live with injustice, terror, disease, and death as their constant companions. Have mercy upon us. Help us to eliminate our cruelty to these, our brothers and sisters. Strengthen those who spend their lives establishing equal protection of the law and equal opportunities for all and grant that every one of us may enjoy a fair portion of the riches of this land. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.